What's up, Capoeira Nation? Welcome back to the Capoeira Experience Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in today and every time you listen to these episodes. Thank you so much for following the podcast. This podcast is pretty much made for every single person that wants to learn Capoeira or anyone in the Capoeira community to follow us. Uh, I hope, I really hope you're enjoying these episodes. I'm bringing this uh, to the Capoeira community for us to share our knowledge and to share our information, our ex Capoeira experience. That's pretty much what, what, what the name means, the Capoeira Experience Podcast, right? So uh, whenever time you feel like you want to share your experience, uh, reach out to us or reach out to me to, to the Instagram. So make sure you follow us. Uh, support us through the YouTube channel subscribe to the, the YouTube channel every single interview is going to be shared on the the podcast and the podcast YouTube make sure you follow us there and today uh, is going to be a very special podcast for me because uh, today uh, Friday 15th is going is is my seventh seventh year. Uh, since they moved to the UI to the US, um, very happy to to live where to be where I am today uh, in my personal life and the Capoeira life. Super super happy with all the friends in the Capoeira community. Very very happy uh, how many people I've met throughout these seven years. is is been a wonderful wonderful and beautiful journey. Uh, opens up and downs like everything in life like the other right you take a hashtag you just get up shake your badass go back to pay the bidding bow start again so um in today uh i want to share with you this uh i came up with this information because i feel like this is very very uh, uh personal from me to to, to you, to the Capoeira community, but it's also very, um, goes together with the, with the Capoeira life, right? Like everybody, uh, if you've done Capoeira for, for a little bit of over time or you're just starting, uh, this will be a good information for you, um, which is pretty much my personal three tips, uh, uh, I keep for myself and this is how how I go uh, out of capoeira and in capoeira and this is also what I tell my students um, to pr pretty much almost all my students to 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 set up uh, in capoeira and out of capoeira okay so uh, once again these are my personal my personal how I, I set up pretty much everything uh, going forward and in, in life on every single day, including Capoeira. Uh, it's just going to be only three tips, little trips, uh, tips, I'm sorry, not trips. I mean, if you are taking a trip right now, but it will be one trip, not three tips, trips. But yes, it's going to be three tips to how to uh, overcome yourself in either in Capoeira or your personal life. Uh, just my personal advice to you and to the Capoeira community, okay? And the first one is going to be stop talking negative to yourself. You just got to drop it, okay? Talking negative to yourself is going to create a barrier in front of you. It's going to, to limit yourself, putting walls, putting yourself in a little box and not getting out of there. Talking to yourself uh, negatively, it, it can uh, hold you back, okay? Like, for example, let's say you just uh, capoeira, right? This this topic will be pretty much about capoeira. If you say, I cannot do that move, or I cannot do queixada this way, oh, I can do this move, that that's not helping you to go, to overcome those movements in capoeira because that like I said before, is going to hold you back. You know, it's going to to it's going to tell your brain that you cannot do this, 
and it's going to tell your body, and your brain is going to tell your body that you cannot do this movement, and you're not gonna get it. You know, you instead of saying, you know, I'm not, I, I cannot do this movement. Instead of saying that, it's like, okay, I'm not able to do the move now, right now. How, what I need to train, what, what, how I can break it down for me to be able to do this move, to do the quechada this way, or to do the amada this way, or, you know, reach out to somebody in social media and be like, hey, you know, my name is Kashishi. How, how do you do those backflips? I mean, you, you are really awesome on doing those backflips. Well, uh, can you tell me two tips how you do those backflips? And the comments of those videos or, you know, like how many times per week are you stretching? I'm really stiff. I am a stiff. Um, but what are you doing to not be stiff anymore? You know, and are you stretching? Are you moving? What are you doing and how, how you can get where you want to get? But talk positive to yourself, you know, and be like, you know, like, I just, I'm just starting at this. I know I can, I can do this move at some point. I will get it. If that's something that you cannot do at the moment, you just focus on something else. You know, music, Portuguese instruments, and, and practice those instruments. You know, I'm not getting this music right now. Well, let me read it. Let me try all, uh, all different uh, different kind of alternative for me to learn this. And just don't give it up by saying I cannot do this. You know, you you smart. Every all of us are smart. You know, we we were in capoeira, and capoeira help our brain to develop something uh, greater. You know, than 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 anything else. So, by you only being capoeira, or by you being in capoeira, already make you awesome. And by you be a capoeirista, you even with this one day, one day, two days. 20 years, you're awesome, you know, you're an awesome person. And doing all these acrobatic movements is not easy. If you look back when you started and you are like now, you're like, I overcome myself on a bunch of stuff, you know, and, and push yourself a, a little bit more than, than just holding yourself back. My my second tip on on this will be um, pretty much uh, stay busy. You know, stay busy on on all everything in Capoeira. You know, today's days, today's uh, uh, May fifteenth. Uh, today today's days is a bunch with this pandemic going around. Is a bunch of Capoeira online uh, that you can take classes everywhere. There's Zoom groups where you can join the group. Uh, shout out to all those friends in Chicago saying the Zoom, 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 uh, Capoeira Online, or look it up on Facebook. Uh, find Capoeira anywhere. You know, you can find Capoeira anywhere right now. You can connect with a bunch of Capoeiristas. I was talking to, to some friends not too long ago. Uh, the, the, the privilege that we have right now is very awesome that we can connect with so many capoeiras, uh, capoeiristas all around the world just with technology. And this is awesome. And I think we should take advantage of this. And I think we should help each other to take advantage of this, the connection, the awesome connections that we can make. And you already know how awesome capoeira is connecting people with this. We can speak different language or languages. And as soon as you start Jinga, you already know what you're talking about, you know? So stay busy. If training, practicing music, reading about capoeira, if you don't, if you don't feel like reading capoeira every single day bores the, the crap out of you, just like read something else or watch other stuff that can help you grow capoeira, you know, mobility, or anything else, you know what I mean? Try to stay busy and try to, to keep moving yourself, but stay busy, keep your mind busy, and 
there's going to be a bunch of stuff that that you that are going to be overcome as much as used to be busy. You know, there's beating ball, instruments, atabaque, pandero, Portuguese, history, move, mobility. There's so much that that includes in capoeira that can help you to grow, to grow a lot. Okay. There's also um this this will be my last and and at least for this episode it's going to be a quick quick episode i just want to share this with you this is one of my favorites uh, of of these three goals because this can help you to to visualize be visualize so whatever look away you know look look ahead on 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 where where you want to go and anywhere you know and including capoeira and also on life i use this as a like i said at the beginning as a personal as, as a my, my personal uh i guess way to do stuff you know i usually uh like to do this because it makes my uh, like a tunnel vision where i want to go and this one is uh setting up goals or and what i usually do write write them down what i want to do where i want to get you know and and never ever like again this go together again with a number one ever talk negative about yourself on this on this uh last one and setting up goals big enough you know like who cares you know what i mean no one's gonna judge you you don't have to share those goals with anyone just write it write them down down before go to bed on your phone you know what i mean uh, sometimes i do that really quick C- can be two three lines can be i don't know i want to be the most flexible capoeirista in the world but you also got to put the work on it right but if you write that down every every day try to try to do at least two three lines per day before you go to bed or whenever you wake up and that's going to stick to your mind and eventually you are going to start putting the work on on this because at some point you're like i want to be the most flexible capoeirist on the whole planet you know what i mean and you're going to start putting some work into this and anything else out of life you know like whatever goal you want whatever goal you want uh again no put negative thoughts into this how should i how i'm gonna do that or how how i'm gonna accomplish that you know and and just just do it just write it down and any goal you have in life just have it there because you can do it there's not uh, uh those big winners in in life they are no smarter than us and i'm not smarter than you and and no one is smarter than us you know and we just have the idea and put the uh, uh hands to work you know our brain to work and if they can do it you can do it you know and, and for example i'm gonna share a few few things here uh after i moved to the us one of my first goals was speak english the first one of my first goals if dude i'm gonna tell you uh i never spoke english before uh i learned english on my own with the help of my family here in the us my 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 wife my father-in-law and my mother-in-law because if i don't speak english i wouldn't be able to communicate with them and eventually i wanted to to talk to capoeiristas so my my first goal was i have to learn this language even as hard as it can be i have to go through and hit myself as many times I need to fail on this as many times as I can until I 
um, until I'm able to speak it without thinking about it. Because uh, coming from Venezuela, in Venezuela, we don't speak English. We learn the basic words, uh, like bad words. I'm not going to say them in here, but it's bad words. One of the words I know, no, the bad words, uh, is going to uh, used to be love, or I love you, hug, I'm hungry, water, bathroom, the, and I know a few uh, I'm not going to say here, but man, it was hard as crazy, you know, and, and, but I, I put the work on and I learned it. And eventually, and that's one of them. There are many others, but that's one of my goals that was like, I, I have to learn this, man. I have to learn because I, I want to learn, you know, and, and, and then eventually it was the, uh, one of the goals was like, I need to teach. I want to teach. And I say I need to teach is because I learn a lot by teaching. And shout out to all my students. Thank you for teaching me. Uh, because uh, I learn so much by teaching because I like, I like helping people grow and see those smiles when when even when it's just a jinga when it's a cargo when there there's a ahmada when that student do, do an ahmada and and they have a big smile they finally get the ahmada is is a awesome feeling of satisfaction if probably is the same feeling of parents the parents when they they see the kids accomplishing stuff that's probably what they feel i don't know i'm no i'm not a parent but I think it's an awesome feeling. If you teach, you know what I'm talking about. So that's only a couple, couple of the thousand, you know, dozen of goals I had in life. And today, one of the couple goals I have. And my next goal is start traveling a little bit more in the U.S. for Capoeira. That's one of my goals. What is your goal? What do you want to do when on this all this pandemic is done? You know that's one that's a goal. Even even something small is a goal. Uh, but bigger than that, what do you want to accomplish? You know what do you want to do after all this is done? How are you? I, is your goal speaking uh, speak Portuguese at some point? Is your goal uh, learn beating bow, atabaque pandero, or or sing a capoeira song in the hoda. Is your goal start traveling in the U.S. to visit other groups or to visit capoeira schools, learning from other capoeiristas, or is your goal to subscribe the Capoeira Experience podcast? <laughs> Homie, that will help. So, go ahead, do 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 the best to accomplish those goals, put your hands to work, put those, those uh, feet to work, help support your Capoeira community, support everyone, everyone in the Capoeira community. Of course, first, your uh, instructor, uh, teacher, professor, master, the, the, your school, support your school, your local community, and then start growing from there, start supporting your next state community, reach out to them, uh, share their stuff on your social media, you know. I am, I'm a big believer that when we grow, we all, in Capoeira, we all grow together. You help me to grow, I'll help you to grow, and this uh, 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 reciprocity, like in the Capoeira game, man, it's like the Capoeira game, like you, you learn from my game, I'm going to learn from, my, from your game. Everything leads back to the hot. Everything leads back to Capoeira, right? And um, well, stay great, you know, and remember the three tops. Three, my, this is my three top. I, I think it can be my three top. But remember, number one, stop talking negative to yourself. Talk positive to yourself. Number two, stay busy. Find something new to do. I don't know. Learn Portuguese. 
learn something, learn uh, instruments, capoeira instruments, talk to your instructor and see what, or your master or whatever, who, whoever is teaching you and see how you can practice. I'm pretty sure they will be super happy to teach you, to teach instruments or anything, anything you want to learn. And also set up goals for yourself, especially in capoeira. We're talking right now about capoeira, right? If you want to do for life, do it too. But set up goals, set up, send them up, and uh, just have fun, man. Have fun. Let's have fun. The whole, uh, let's have fun. Let's all be together. Learn from everything. Learn from learn for yourself. Learn from the community. Make sure you subscribe. I hope you like this episode. Please help us connect with more capoeiristas coming soon are coming more episodes every Friday so far because the pandemic makes me easy makes it easy that makes me easy but make, makes it easy to put stuff together and to get interviews done because everyone's home if you want to be in the podcast let me know uh, reach out on the social media put in the comments Hey, I want to be on the podcast. Talk to me. Okay. So, remember, stay positive. Stay busy. And dream big. Dream big because I know you can do it. Everyone can do it. Okay. Let's go. Let's go play everywhere. Let's go play capoeira. Let's go share positivity in the capoeira community. Join classes, be positive, spread positivity, and spread peace.